How you doing? Randy here. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is a revised video on using PicMonkey. Um, through this tutorial, you guys, I'll walk you through so you can see exactly what I do and you can follow step by step. And I'm hoping this helps out a little bit better than just doing a voiceover and then just throwing a video up online where you actually see me here using the program right in front of you and it's actually not all that hard it's an online program which basically is live so as you it's nothing that you have to download or whatever i mean you can sign up you get more features if you do sign up and i do believe they also have a premium account where if you pay for and i want to mind you i'm not affiliated with pick monkey i'm not i do not work for them whatsoever I just use the online program. I'm only promoting their software that they had made available to all of us to use to our advantage. So anyhow, let's jump right into this. What I'm gonna do is actually get on the internet right now so you guys can see exactly what's going on. So anyhow, I'm gonna fire up the internet and uh, let everything load up. Okay, right here I'm on Google. I have PicMonkey in my uh, favorites so I'm gonna go ahead and load it and you have to bear with me because I got like four programs running at the same time so uh, you know please be patient with me here alright so anyhow here's pick monkey and you have a few icons at the top and right here is the URL so be sure to notate that it's just pickmonkey.com and anyhow, I'm going to go in here at the edit tab and pull up one of my pictures I already have, background. And a lot of people like using this program to basically make channel art. So we're going to either for YouTube or Facebook, it don't matter. So anyhow, let's pick a picture. I just picked that bottom one. Now anyhow, the uh, program is going to uh, load up the image I want to work with here. And the overlays that I am working with are overlays that I have already downloaded or images that aren't transparent and I made transparent. So anyhow, once we're here, we have the image uploaded. You're going to go into the crop image and go to where it says no fixed proportions. Scroll down to where it says the HDTV. Go ahead and hit that and hit apply. All right, the image is cropped. Now I want to put some overlays on it. So right here where the butterfly is, that's the overlay icon, which I don't understand that, but it is. I have some overlays already. So to get through this tutorial to show you guys how to do this, basically I'm going to go in here and just pick a couple overlays that I, I already have. And uh, this one works pretty good right here. So we're going to pick it, hit it open. There we go. Now you can resize these a little bit. As you see, this is kind of small. I'm gonna make it a little bigger. I wouldn't go too extreme big. And what you wanna do is you wanna put all of your overlays over off to the right hand side. Because if you notice with Facebook or YouTube, your, your main picture or your icon, your logo, is actually in the upper or lower left hand corner. So, all right, I have this tab here. Now I'm going to give it a little bling by going in here and getting another uh, overlay I already have. It's a like and subscribe uh, uh, overlay, which basically I actually designed with another program. Not I, I didn't actually get it on the internet. All right, so here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and hit open. And you can resize this. And because I'm putting this inside this tab right here, I'm not going to size it too much. I'm just going to adjust it a little bit. As you can see, that's what I'm doing right now. And right there should be pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is go and get another overlay. Let's say, for instance, I'm making uh, channel art for YouTube. You know, everybody likes to be liked on YouTube or wants you to click their videos. Why not put in a hand gesture? in there you can resize it tilt it do whatever you want all right now for the last thing we'll just you don't want to put a, a, you know 
an abundance amount of stuff on this too because you got to figure this is gonna be channel art so you don't want to go super crazy you just want like maybe three or four overlays because you have your picture that's going to be up in you know the top left hand corner or bore or lower bottom left hand corner um of the channel art so all right there we go and as you can see i tilted that a little bit because the words like and subscribe are tilted so now i'm going to go ahead and save it and then down here where it says save to my computer you're just going to go ahead and hit that or just below that you can download it I'm going to go ahead and change this, um, let's see, I'll change it to done, something simple, simple, and it's actually just going to save right to my desktop, close this out, and I already know where that saved to, so that's not an issue, now what I'm going to do is open up another window, and get into uh, YouTube here, get into my uh, actual channel, Alrighty, now I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. And like I said, it's a little laggish because I got so many programs running. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Just trying to make this as quick as possible so you guys get the gist of this. Alright, I'm logged in. I'm going to go over here to my channel. Now my channel is almost loaded, uh, so uh, I, like I said, I do apologize for this. And me personally, I can't stand it when it does this, but when you have so many programs running, you're on the internet, you're trying to do green screen work, because believe it or not, what I'm doing right now is actually green screen work live. So um, anyhow, now that I'm logged in here to my uh, YouTube channel, I wanna change my YouTube channel art. So you're gonna go down and hit the edit channel art, now I'd save that new image, you know, basically is the right size for YouTube. I'm going to drag it in there and wait for it to upload. Once this is uploaded, you can go in and adjust like the crop, the position of it or whatever. But for the tutorial, um, I'm just going to go ahead and hit save once you guys see that it's uploaded. And what it does is it gives you three images on what it looked like on three different devices. Now I can go into this all day long and mess around with it, but I'm not gonna. Right there's the three uh, devices that, it, what it's gonna look like. Just hit save. As you can see, it's saved. And right there is the new uh, YouTube channel art, guys. I hope this tutorial helped you out in doing so. But that's what it is right there. I'm going to go ahead and log out, sign out, and uh, get out of here. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that helped you out. And if you can, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, the more the better. And any comments, bad ones, good ones, hey, send them my way. You want to know something? No bad, no bad thought is, you know left unfounded you know what i mean if someone has a bad comment so be it i'll research it try to do better if someone has a good comment i'll do the same thing just basically try to make it better and better if you guys have any certain videos you want done feel free to let me know um i'm gonna throw a video on here shortly about to take a image that is non-transparent and make it transparent so you can use it in pick monkey all right I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.